without time. So hello everyone, welcome to our Horizon Weekly Insider. This is number 10, so super excited for now 10 weeks doing this. Happy Thursday. Uh, please, as usual, remember the recording of this call will be available on our uh, Horizon podcast and our YouTube channel for uh, later reviews. Uh, also, please remember to ask your questions on our Menti page uh, while this call is happening so we can answer all of that at the end. Without further ado, let's welcome Luca Cermeli from Milan. Thank you, Angie. This is Luca from Milan. I hope you can hear me now. Uh, thank you. Today we have uh, very good news on the engineering side, but I'll let Alberto cover them. I'll uh, just uh, start by providing uh, an update on the Zendi deprecation before going through the sidechain update. So, uh, as you know, we have a deprecation set for October 26th which means that uh, a new Zen software version known as uh, 2.0.19 is going to replace the current one because uh, the current one is going to deprecate towards the end of this month. So that's why we have uh, prepared uh, a, a new one. And the focus of this version is uh, mainly maintenance, including uh, improvements like new DNS seed nodes for nest and, and mainnet and uh, updated open SSL dependency. But we also included the Zcash for what is known as the ping uh, issue. So that is also part of uh, our new Zen, Zen D software release. Because we have uh, the upcoming deprecation, uh, we are inviting all our, our partners, exchanges, pools, node operators, and full node wallet users to update. We have posted a blog post. We have sent already two rounds of notifications to our partners. Chronic published the binaries early this week, so everybody can uh, update already. And we started receiving some upgrade uh, confirmations from some exchanges and wallets. Uh, this is thanks to the joint efforts of several people that are contributing to this activity, including uh, you also, Angie, of course. And uh, we'll keep everybody posted about the progress on that. For what regards wallets, Swing is getting compatible uh, with the new Zendi version tomorrow. So we we'll, uh, to download the new version uh, of that on our blog post, while Sphere is, should be coming between tomorrow and early next week. Uh, this is it for what regards the upcoming deprecation. Now I will uh, pass it to Alberto. So let's uh, switch to sidechains. Uh, for the uh, most recent updates on that. Please, Alberto. Thank you, Luca. Oh, yes, this is a, a very important week because it's uh, uh, the week where we are merging the result of the work of many months of the sidechain team. So, uh, I mean, uh, we have been reviewing uh, uh, a lot of code and uh, had many pull requests, uh, but everything seems uh, to proceed well. And uh, now the uh, uh, all the pull requests have been approved and uh, and merged. And so um, we are about to apply the last changes uh, that are going to be uh, let me say reviewed for the uh, last time uh, later today. So we are almost there, and uh, uh, we plan to release a schedule. And just remember, uh, in uh, uh, this uh, uh, let's say milestone, we will release uh, a version of the uh, sidechain node that will be able to uh, run and uh, uh, to be able to synchronize with the main chain. We'll be able to produce uh, uh, sidechain blocks, forge sidechain blocks with a very simple consensus. But uh, let me say it will be uh, let me say uh, the full process of forging blocks is implemented. Uh, even sidechain, main chain block reference are going to be included in sidechain blocks. And so you, uh, it would be possible to see uh, the, the balance uh, changing in the wallet of a sidechain node uh, that has received the coins for, from, from main chain. And these also include uh, the modification uh, uh, about main chain. So for introducing uh, the support of sidechain, I mean, actually, uh, the kind of transactions that are going to be supported are, uh, let me say, sidechain creation. So you will be able to 
uh, create a new side chain and uh, uh, also transfer uh, some funds, uh, as we were saying, as forward transfer from from the main chain to the side chain. So, uh, let me say uh, a very important milestone in uh, in uh, in our SDK. Uh, let me see <laughs> uh, journey. And uh, okay, this is uh, uh, regarding uh, the SDK release. And um, uh, for, okay, regarding the extended model uh, of side chains, uh, we are also proceeding well uh, with uh, the technical paper, and uh, uh, that is already more than twenty pages. <laughs> we are just in the beginning. So uh, let me say. Uh, also, from uh, that in that part, we are proceeding quite well and uh, almost everything from my side thank you luca hey guys if i could just chime in here uh, alberto thank you so much for the update uh, i just want to highlight for everyone here this is the single largest software release that we've done as a project and i can say in an industry where it is much more common to copy paste other other github repositories than to do something original and we know because that's how we launched right uh, this is something that is absolutely unique. And what we're delivering here is, I think, a huge step forward because uh, this, this will offer, at least on testnet, the ability to do something that no other blockchain project in the entire industry can do. Uh, so the importance of this, I think, has been maybe lost, um, probably even on our own community, but for sure, the entire industry. Um, so anyway, guys, just want to say we need to start making some noise and really getting the word out about how unique and innovative this is. Thank you, Rob. Very well said, and thank you, Alberto. I think this is it uh, for now, at least uh, from the engineering side. Back to you, Angie. Thank you, guys. Okay, next one would be Alan on the Node side. Yeah, hi, everyone. I'm talking to you from Arizona here. And just a quick update on 2.0.19. So an email went out on Tuesday to all the node operators, urging them to update before the 26th, which is when the deprecation will take place and the old version will stop working. It looks like we already have about 10% of the super node uh, system updated and around 31% of all the secure nodes. So looks like the node operators are on top of it and getting everything updated before the deprecation happens, which is great. That's it. Back to you, Angie. Thanks, Alan. Next one would be um, Gustavo on the UX side. Hey, everyone. So short update regarding the help desk. We are having a search of activity related to faucet issues. All the tickets are being handled and uh, based on feedback, we are also creating a FIQ to deflect most of the, the most common questions. And we are also making improvements based on that feedback. And uh, I, will, I would like to highlight that uh, if you have any faucet related issues, please raise uh, a ticket on our help desk. And on Sphere side, Chronic is working on a new release, preparing for the upcoming release deprecation and uh, on the web development. We are working on our main website for the upcoming 21st announcement. And uh, on the faucet, we are working on the backend, just making the system more robust and uh, adding admin tools to be able to handle support better. And that's it for our side. Thanks, Gustavo. Next one is Rowan on the business development section. Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. It's Rowan speaking from a very wet and miserable Panama City, Panama. Uh, so first thing, Angie and Luca, we've had positive confirmation again that they've both Binance and Bittrex are working on 2.0.19. I'll let you guys know when it's complete. Uh, same old story with Hobie, probably going to get a last minute response from those guys. Uh, in terms of business development, from my side, we're pretty much focused entirely at on pooling enterprise businesses into the ecosystem. Uh, here in Panama, we've had a really busy week of meetings with people across lots of different industries from supply chain, logistics, banking, factoring. Uh, and looking forward, we've got a variety of meetings lined up with people like local government, academia, uh, and a variety of other enterprise businesses. Kind of long and short of it is that we're looking to turn Panama into a sort of proving ground for the upcoming sidechain release and making some really strong progress to create relationships here to make that a possibility. 
Uh, I'll pass it back to anyone else from BD if they want to jump in with an update on more specific integration type things. Uh, hello, everyone. This is Varno speaking from Tbilisi, Georgia. So my trip to Armenia has been a very good one. This year's Chainpoint conference has been attended by way more people and our side chains got a good amount of attention, being a very unique one in the industry. Uh, and the official media coverage of the conference will come later, but I will make our marketing team happy with my wife's neat photo, photo work. She has done a great job with that and I will upload everything a bit later. And apart from that, I have great news from Students for Liberty, who is doing a large regional conference in November 2nd in Tbilisi, Georgia, expecting uh, in excess of 800 people. Unfortunately, they do not have a speaking slot for blockchain and cryptocurrency on this one, but they are happy to not only give us a free booth there, but also partner with us on a global level throughout the year's events as privacy and blockchain is being promoted by SFL as one of the main topics in 2019 and 2020. Last year's booth uh, has been a great success there, and I hope it will be much better this year. That's all from me. Back to you, Angie. You should just drop, drop Rolf's name with Students for Liberty. He's, uh, I think, prolific in that group. Yeah, yeah, sure. I mentioned him during our meeting with them, and they were amazed the videos I showed, I showed them. Awesome. So that was great. Thank you, guys. Next one is uh, Jonas on the HDE uh, updates. Uh, hey, everyone. Um, no update from my side. From the day I got back from Milan Saturday, I was uh, tied to bed, really sick, and only starting to feel better today. So actually, really nothing has happened. Thanks. And... Um, Next week, I'll be in full force, hopefully, again. No origins and get well soon. Okay, next one would be uh, Lucy on the marketing side. Hey, uh, get better, Jonas. Uh, so good morning and good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so like uh, uh, Luke and, and Rob and everyone else said that we are at a very exciting time. Uh, so we are now three days until the side chain of our um, and six days until Erica comes back. Okay, so we all miss her very much. Uh, and then the marketing team mainly has been working, uh, super busy working on the launch of our site chain alpha uh, and then a new um, white paper this week. Uh, so this release is super exciting. I know we have a lot to look forward to uh, besides the actual alpha. And then a new uh, white paper, we are working on a, a series of videos, as I mentioned previously. Uh, and then we will be releasing the first one on Monday. Uh, both Rob and Rob will be delivering some really important message in this video. Also, we are working on updating the, uh, the website uh, to include major technological breakthrough. Um, the update, uh, the updated web, uh, website will also be released on Monday. So we really have a, uh, a lot to uh, to next week. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, and before the release on Monday, we will be uh, publishing another blog post about, uh, about our site chain. This uh, this is the um, this is the second part of the Q and A with the leadership that we posted last week. Uh, and lastly, we are running a ten percent off sale in our official swag store right now. So it is a store wide sale. Uh, I have recently added uh, several new products, so the sale applies to them as well. So take a look. That's it from me, uh, Jonathan. Have anything? Hey everybody, greetings from Florida. Um, it's pretty nice today, actually. So, Rowan, you could, you know, take a quick hop over here if you'd like to. Um, so, yes, we are looking forward to having Erica back. In the meantime, though, uh, because she's gone, we were forced in a good way to try to experiment with using a Facebook bot to answer some of the influx of questions. And I spent a good portion of the week um, looking at different tools and then actually creating and integrating a bot into Facebook. So I think it's working pretty well from the tests we've done. Of course, it's just the first iteration, so we'll continue to improve. But uh, we hope that you know these little automation tools will, will help us as we start to grow exponentially. Um, also, some good news. We had a great conversation this morning with one of our node hosting partners, 
And we will be going ahead with a small test uh, to try to further engage the community in hosting their own nodes. So I don't want to give away all of the details today, uh, but there will be some uh, discount codes in the form of a competition to host nodes for free for several months. And uh, you should expect to see more on our social media in the next two weeks. And that's it for me. Thank you. Back to you, Angie. Thank you, Lucy and Jonathan. Uh, next one would be uh, Dean on the legal side. Hey, everybody. Uh, I am also uh, calling in from Panama, though I will disagree with my good friend Rowan. And I do not think it is a cold, wet, miserable day. It's actually a little gray, but uh, still 80 degrees and uh, nice outside. So um, it probably beats most places in the world. Uh, on the legal side, uh, Jonas Chronic, I, I sent you guys the changes that we discussed. Please let me know if you have any further revisions uh, or comments. Otherwise, I will cross that off of my to-do list. And that's it for me on the legal side. Thanks, everyone. Dina, I love how defensive you are about Panama. I, I just I, I take it very personal when uh, anyone insults the weather here. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So now uh, from the leadership team, uh, Rolf, would you like to add something? Sure. Yeah. Hello from Luxembourg today, which is where I'm traveling. Uh, I'm very excited about the sidechain uh, continued progress and update. This is a real differentiator for us. And um, it takes a little while for everybody to become conversant with all the different aspects and some of the unique parts of what we're doing with sidechains. Um, but as we continue to release code and uh, then start to be able to do things with the software development kit, it'll become more and more clear um, how this is a real differentiator and not only differentiator, but improvement on a lot of the things that are done in the industry. So I'm very excited about it. Okay, thank you, Rolf. And now as well uh, from the leadership team, uh, Rob, for the closing part. Thanks, Angie. Rolf, I hope you're okay in cold, wet uh, Luxembourg. Um, but it's let's beautiful see. So here. Let's... We went out and saw a castle today. Yeah, I wore a raincoat. No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds miserable. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. The, the big things on the hopper, this is, you know, in talking to the guys here, truly this is the busiest month, I think, of the project ever. Um, and probably the most important month for the project since we launched. Uh, so like I said before, we're delivering something that we really have to go out to the industry, to the market, to the world, and, and you know, show the importance of this. And I think well, clearly the importance will kind of be demonstrated over time as we have use cases that emerge from it. Um, but the technology is completely unique. It's something that no other blockchain project in the world right now can do having a totally decentralized sidechain system. Now, of course, this is an alpha. It's very limited functionality, but it's a huge step forward for us. And you're going to see thousands or if not tens of thousands of line of original code de developed or delivered. Um, and like I said, it's something that is truly unique to the industry. Even the fact that we're delivering something uh, so unique um, at bulk. So anyway, uh, there's a huge amount of work with this. The release is next week on the 21st. The marketing communications team has been prepping a ton of communication material. Um, all of our assets need to be updated with, you know, a slightly different messaging um, because this is taking the project truly for the first time from being a cryptocurrency to something much more as a as a platform. Um, so Alberto and the team have been doing final reviews. Everything's looking good. Uh, you heard from them directly. Uh, and already what I love about it is the team has been powering forward on thinking through beta uh, and the, the academic paper that Alberto alluded to is something that's extremely important. And I, I don't think, again, we should minimize the importance of this because it is uh, describing an even more novel approach to doing a totally decentralized sidechain system that goes beyond what we're delivering in the alpha. Um, so it's, it's extremely exciting. I'm excited exciting and i can't wait to you know uh share more of the details with everyone as we get ready to publish 
Um, and speaking of publishing, we have next week uh, in coordination with the, the alpha release, we're going to release white paper version 2.0. Um, as many of you who have been with the project for a while probably realize the original white paper um, is very much outdated. And the direction that the project has evolved over the last couple of years is probably orders of magnitude of anything that we could have envisioned at the time uh, in terms of technical capability. So we want to make this very explicit and clear in uh, kind of an, an originating document. So uh, it really doesn't make sense anymore to point people to the original white paper. And as we release the code next week, we're also going to release uh, version 2.0. And let's see what else. So I'm going to be in Croatia next week at a FinTech conference with Maurizio and some of our team with Marco and Linda, I believe, is going to come. And what we're doing is I'm going to present a blockchain-based factory marketplace concept uh, to the conference. So really excited for that. And uh, we'll see how well it's received. But it's a very concrete use case of the sidechain technology. Um, so I think this is where we need to go. Now that we have um, very innovative technology, you know, uh, being delivered to market. Now we need to think about how we're going to use the technology to solve real world problems. So I'm happy that we're very quickly going out and starting to pitch in different ways. Uh, some other really good news. If anyone's been tracking our FCAS score, which we talked about quite a bit, um, we're, we're jumping on there. So actually the last I checked today, we were uh, rated 831, which was the 12th rank, the 12th highest score in the entire industry overall. And our development score, uh, because metadata from our private repositories and all of the sidechain work uh, has been exposed to Flipside Crypto, which does the rating, uh, we're ranked number five in the entire industry in terms of development uh, score. Um, our user activity has started to jump with a lot of the kind of referral marketing stuff and FOSA campaigns going on. Really excited for turning these techniques into other areas of our uh, marketing strategy, like Jonathan alluded to with the, the node uh, hosting promotions. Um, there's a whole bunch of areas that we're going to start using the lessons learned from here. So really the faucet, um, I think, is, is fantastic and such a huge leap forward for us in how we do marketing. Uh, and it may seem trivial to a lot of people, but the lessons learned from there and how to make something go viral or things or lessons that we're going to apply into plenty of other domains. So really excited for that. And our new user acquisition as measured by emails and wallet downloads has been going through the roof. The, and Jonathan could probably correct me if I'm wrong here, but the last I heard was something like 5,000 new users a day. Um, so our growth is going exponential and co coinciding with you know, a, a serious engineering delivery next, next week. Uh, I, I could not be more excited for where we are as a project. Um, so guys, on that note, let me say, uh, this is something that we have to highlight to everyone. So if you're listening to this, you clearly care about the project or you're at least Zen curious. Um, so take responsibility for it. Make sure you're tracking all of our social media, follow them all, retweet, like, amplify the message. We really have to spread the word. We're way too high quality of a project um, to be obscure at this point, especially as we go live with uh, the type of innovative technology we are next week. Uh, so I want to do a, a shout out here to Al Hilal who's probably one of our most uh, prolific community members at this point. And I'll say that if even a fraction of the people following this project um, behaved like him and just got out and um, you know, did what he did to, to amplify our messaging, we would be probably the most popular blockchain project in the world. So thank you very much, Al Halal. And I'll stop here and hand it over to the marketing team to you know, field any questions on the Q&A. Yeah, we've got several uh, questions, Rob. So um, the first one is, at what level will sidechains alpha will, uh, be workable by developers? That's a great question. And while we have Alberto on the line, I think it's maybe really good to hear from him directly. Did you catch the question, Alberto? Oh, can, no, sorry. Uh, so, can, you, can you please repeat? Of course. Uh, at what level will sidechains alpha be workable? by developers. And there's a second part of the question as well, actually. Uh, will we be able to publish draft projects already on Horizon Testnet? Okay. Uh, let's say that uh, um, what we are, as I was describing before, um, these milestones uh, will include the possibility to declare 
a, a new side chain and uh, to transfer for funds to it and to verify in the side chain node that these uh, funds are transferred correctly and perform some basic basic operation on the sidechain node. So the sidechain developer will be able to download our SDK, compile it, extend it by, for example, uh, let me say introducing uh, uh, some uh, additional uh, transaction and uh, um, we'll be able to run the node in reg test. So for example, we'll be able to uh, obviously, it will need he will need to run the main chain to compile and run the main chain node uh, in rec test, and uh, it will be also uh, able to he, he will be also able to run the side chain node in rec test and make them communicate together. We are going also to publish uh, on a separate testnet, so not our official testnet, on a separate testnet with a different uh, uh, that is running on a different port, and. Why we are doing this? Because um, we want we uh, want to be able to make other release. Uh, let me say before having uh, released the the um, the stable uh, side chain uh, modifications in main chain. So for this reason, we choose to um, publish uh, on a different port. Um, let me say the the, the modify the code, uh, so it will be another testnet that can be used. But let me say, from a develop, developer perspective, uh, the most interesting part would be, I think, uh, let me say, configuring the environment uh, on his uh, machine and uh, being able to see how I can uh, easily introduce, uh, uh, let me say, new kind of transaction and see how it is structured, the code, and how easily uh, can be extended to create his own sidechain application. So uh, for us, this is the first uh, public uh, step for allowing the developer to, f to familiarize on the SDK. And the next, uh, let me say, milestones are going to release uh, the additional uh, functionalities like backward transfer and so on. So um, this is more or less, uh, let me see, a brief description on what we'll be able to do a sidechain developer. And that's all, I think. Thank you, Alberto. Uh, we have another question also about sidechains. Uh, will sidechains be published on public Horizon testnet? Uh, and as I was saying, I mean, uh, they are going to be, let me say, uh, on a parallel testnet. Let me say, let me describe it in this way. Uh, let me say, running a, on a on a on a on a different port. Um, so it will be public, but uh, on, on a different port because we want to be able to have a, a let me say, the production testnet. Let us call it in this way. Uh, still available, um, but. I don't know, Chronic, if you want to provide any additional detail uh, uh, about this. Uh, yeah. Hi, everyone. Um, so uh, the the reasoning behind uh, using a separate testnet is uh, we we might have to do some some more changes in the main chain uh, code, and um, it essentially the um, the cross-chain transfer protocol on the main chain side requires a hard fork. And um, as this is alpha code, things can still change. So we do not want to fork our, our current production test net uh, before we are really sure that everything is how it should be, that we're confident uh, the code is running all right. And um, so that's one of the reasons why we are starting a, a separate test net. Um, and uh, generally, uh, this will be published in a, a separate branch of the Zen Core repository, and it will give developers the the option to try out uh, what they developed in Rack Test and test it against a real world uh, production environment or a, an environment that uh, approximates production. Um, so this is the main reason why uh, we are doing it on a on a separate network for now. But in terms of um, 
the development experience and how everything will be running, it's it's a very close approximation to uh, what it will look like in, in production. Okay, thank you, Chronic. Thank you, Roberto. Um, so the next question is about mining. So any talks about developing a unique Horizon proof of work? More than 15% of network hash still coming from single China. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll take that one. No, so we don't have any new algorithm in development. Um, so it is something that we mentioned is uh, a topic area that we're potentially interested in exploring, um, particular on decentralizing hash rate. But as of now, uh, quite frankly, we just don't have the resources at these price levels to expand uh, you know, the set of things that we're doing with our engineering team. So we're very, very focused right now on delivering this major sidechain milestone uh, and then from there, we're going to be taking from alpha to beta. That's our focus right now. And that's just where we're going to continue investing. Hey, thank you, Rob. Those are the three uh, top three questions today. Thank you, everyone. Back to you, Angie. Okay, great. Awesome session. Thank you all and everybody for being here. Uh, that's a wrap and we'll see you later. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Angie, for hosting. Take care. Thank you, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye